Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Pokemon Swoosh. Uh, last time we finished up the Kerchester gym and other little side thingies, so we're pretty much done in Kerchester now. Uh, so now we need to go to Spikemouth. Uh, judging from the way the map looks, we basically have to take Route 9 to get over there. So, Route 9 it is. Let's go. Uh, easiest way to get to Route 9 is probably just to head this way. Uh, get out of the way. You're too healthy. <laughs> okay, Route 9. I think I may have been here as part of my little exploration of Kerchester earlier. Yeah, my bike can go on water now, like this. Neat. Uh, let's see, we got a bunch of friends over there. Hello. Jellicent. Hello, Wild Jellicent. It's hailing. Oh, uh, hailing? Uh, I don't want to deal with that. Uh, let's see if we can get it out of the way with Sucker Punch. Oh, that was pretty good. Whirlpool. I mean, I want to catch it, is the thing. So we're going to have to hopefully get it wheeled down by the hail a little bit, but not too much. Click! Yeah! Ja Jealous and it's caught! Well done, me! <laughs> it's been a long time since I've played this again. I have a lot of gaps between my actually playing Pokemon Swoosh. There's the Pokedex. What a ghost. Interesting. That's why Dark was good against it. Whenever a full moon hangs in the night sky, schools of Jealous and gather near the surface of the sea, waiting for their prey to appear. Wait, there was a blue one and a pink one. You don't think. Oh no. Right, that's a, that's the pink one. That that's that's another jellison, right? Is that Oh no. <laughs> oh no, the gender. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> I don't like the gender differences that a lot of Pokemon have. I also don't like the hail. I am just gonna take this one out. We don't need more than one, so we should be fine. Water absorb. Oh, that's a neat ability. Didn't know you could do that. I, I figured a water ability would be enough, like a water move would be enough to get rid of them even though it's not effective, but not so much. These guys are pretty strong. Okay, there we go. I actually need to head back to the Pokemon Center already. <laughs> Boop -a, -doop. Although there is a Pelipper over there. I don't think we have one of those either. It's hailing. Okay, we do have a Pelipper. So let's just, uh... Yeah, liquidation should be fine. It's not very effective, but I've got a, a huge level advantage, so hopefully it'll do a decent amount. Yeah, that's what I thought. Swallow. <sighs> I don't like the hail. That's really annoying. Okay, there we go. Hmm. 
I'm probably gonna need a decent grass type at some point. This is fire, this is fire. Are you just normal type? I don't remember. Check summary. Yeah, normal. Normal. I can probably... Like, if I find, like, a leaf stone, I could get... Is it leafy on? The, the grass type one. Uh, I've got electric. Yeah, I, I probably need something decent that's grass type. Uh, we'll see how we do. Um, I'm gonna head back because between the hail and everything being weirdly strong, uh, I'm already pretty low on health. <sighs> they put the Pokemon Center at the opposite side of town. There we go. Maybe I should swap out some of my team members for things with different types? I don't know. I'll check if I have any evolution stones handy and maybe we can boost up our EV to something a little more strong. Uh, let me see. It won't be in here. It won't be in here. It's not a Pokeball. Uh, other items might be in here. Okay, we do have a Leaf Stone. Apparently, apparently Leaf Stone is not how you evolve Leafeon? Okay. I believe you. Maybe I need to do something else first before it'll happen? I don't know. I could also just swap out the EV for something else, since I have a bunch of stuff in my boxes. Let's see. Water ghost, electric, water flying, ice bug, fighting, fighting, bug electric, water ground. I haven't seen a whole lot of grass types by the looks of things. There's one. A sh sh shenotic? That could work. Get a widow's rock. Yeah. Mm. They're all very low level compared to what I've got, but they should catch up fairly quickly because of the way experience works. Um, I don't know. I'll just stick with what we got for now and, and we'll see how I go. <laughs> we put this here. <laughs> Do I need to fight you? Or do I already did it. Okay. Kirchester Bay. Oh, right, this is where I actually learned to do the water thing from this guy. Yeah, I can do this. Here we go. Just lets me cross bodies of water. And hang on, what's this? <gasps> it's Whalma! Hello, Whalma. You're smaller than I thought. Seriously, why are you not bigger? Sucker Punch? I don't know. Maybe I should try my electric type moves against these guys, actually. Goodbye, Wyoma. Still don't like the hail. I guess I hit someone there in the sky somehow. Oh, I was hoping... Spectre Punch would work because they do have an attack being prepared, but it doesn't seem to work that way. <sighs> uh, snapshot. We don't have a Whalmer yet, so we do want to get one if we can. Ooh, yeah, too much. Experience. Okay, there are a lot of Whalmers around, so I can probably find another one. And now I'll know what they're effect what's effective against them, so it should be a bit easier. In order to do the catching. Failing. Okay, so water moves are not very effective. So I probably want to keep using them so I can do limited damage. Okay, you can use dive, that's that's pretty cool. 
Although I am paralyzed. Uh, I think I might put out Charles. Like, it's, it's super effective, but it's also a lower level, so it might be able to do what I want here. We'll see. We'll see. Puppy. Use Dive. Ooh. And the Hail, yeah. Wait, Dive protects them from Hail? Huh. Um, uh, fuck. Ooh, yeah, that's way too much. Hmm. I might come back and get a Whalmer later. I don't seem to be doing super well at the moment. Hello, do you want to fight? Thought you did. Aim for your opponent's weak spots and strike. That's all there is to it. That's how you fight a giant enemy crab. Black Belt Carter. Sent out Graplocked. Oh, I see. It's like a squid thing. Okay. Um, I probably want someone else out the front. Ideally, yeah, Charles. But we'll see how this goes. Okay, Taunt. That means I have to attack, right? I think that's what Taunt does. Like, I'm not allowed to switch, switch, um, Pokemon or whatever. Should be okay, though. Um, I'm assuming they're water type. They're at least partially water type. No, 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 they didn't get super effective. Hmm. I don't know what type they are. I'm guessing fighting? Like, at least partially fighting? But... Does water fighting result in not being effective at all? I don't, I don't know. I'll only want Pokemon anyway. To use four moves. That's all it should take. Got money. Okay, thanks dude. Uh, I'm gonna cross over here. Hey, a beach. Got a dive ball. A somewhat different Pokeball that works especially well when catching Pokemon that live underwater. Do you want to fight or are you just sort of chilling? Certainly is a beach, but it's just too cold. What do you think about my secret beach? I read those in the wrong order. The small mysterious paradise, like in a very cool ocean. You come all the way here, so I'll give you a present. TM45 dive! Diving on the first turn, these are floats up and attacks on the next turn. The move dive. Your Pokemon won't be hit by attacks while it's diving in the water. That's right, maybe similar to my beach, which is so cold that nobody visits. Okay, I mean, maybe you'd enjoy going to this beach more if you wore more clothing. Like, you must be freezing. <laughs> like, I know that that's what you wear to a beach, but usually you do that because it's hot. <laughs> um, okay, I can see a fucking cop. We don't want to talk to him. Um, I don't know if I should just, like, go back to the Pokemon Center again. Because we're already taking a bunch of hits. Uh, will it let me do that while I'm in the water? Town map. Yeah, it looks like it. It's kind of neat that they give you fly at the very beginning of the game like this. It's very generous. Granted, not at the beginning of the game anymore, but you get me. Hello. Okay, get on down this way. Purchester Bay. Okay, I noticed this. I probably want to grab that. Max Revive? Yeah, that sounds good. Nice to have. 
Oh, hello. Uh, what's this? Oh, they're adorable. Mantike. Oh, look at that little tiny manta ray. Little little baby. Uh, I'm guessing they were strong against water, so I can probably use that to try to whittle them down. No, they have water absorbed. They're very strong against water. Are there absorb abilities for like all of the different types of whatever, or is it just water? Seems very powerful. Oh, that's more like it. Air slash? That's flying, isn't it? Are these guys water flying? I guess I'll find out in a moment when I manage to catch one. Unless I mess up. Aqua ring, that sounds like a water type move. I don't know what it does. Is it like a shield of some kind? Don't I? Oh, they had a berry? Oh, a veil. Oh, the water. Oh, the water veil does that. Okay. Cool. Oh, come on. There we go. Man, tag put court. Put a bit him. It swims along with the school of Remoraid and they'll all fight together to repel attackers. Kite Pokemon. Water flying. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, yes. Uh, let's see, it's a Venus, so. Hmm. Let's go with Marty. Oh. Um, hello. Ah, what are you using Aqua Ring? Yeah, that makes sense. I assume that's like a defense against the hail because it heals roughly the same amount. If not exactly the same amount. Why are you using Aqua Ring again? Ah, rude. Okay, well, I know they're water type, so I could probably use electric? Or oh, they're flying as well. I don't remember the relation between flying and electric. I, I, I think electric is good against flying, because, like, birds get struck by lightning or whatever, but... I'm not sure. Why are you still using Aqua Ring? Like, you know that the Aqua Ring just stays active for a number of turns, right? Ba -da -ba -da. Wild charge. Uh, probably. Let's find out what it is. Shrouds itself in electricity and smashes into its target. This also damages the user a little. Interesting. 65. I'm thinking of maybe replacing charge, because I don't tend to use setup moves that much. I think I want to keep bite and crunch, because they're both very good and I have strong jaw. So, yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna get past this guy. Witness the results of the training I did together with Pokemon. Alright. We're challenged by Black Belt Reese. I sure am. Sent out Sork. Okay, this is just like fighting type, I think. 
Fighting... What's good against Fighting Dark, maybe? I have no idea. I'll, I'll try Sucker Punch. Oh. Well, I guess they're using setup moves. I don't like the hail. In case you were wondering. Okay, nope, that is not very effective. Okay, that was also not super effective. So dark, so filing isn't strong against water. Uh, I guess I'll send out Charles and do like a wild charge or something. You're in charge, Charles. I'll charge. Okay, that was pretty good. It wasn't super effective, but it was good. Break, break. Ooh. That wasn't super effective either. That is really strong. There we go. Please stop hailing on me. Yes, I'll switch to something else. Uh, let's try Carl, maybe. I've been told the Incinerate is actually really bad. So, I should probably use it less. Um, I don't really know what, why it's really bad, but it seems, seems to have a decent power, so I don't know. Okay, so we got throw. Probably also fighting type, I assume. Okay, uh, let's flame charge. That makes me faster. Revenge? Looks like they do the same damage that I did or something? No? They do more damage. Okay, it's super effective, so that's real bad. Um... I don't know why it's super effective. What, what type are you? Yeah, you're fighting. And I'm rock fire? I'm not following. What, what, why, would, why would that be super effective? <sighs> Let's tell Torque do again. Oh, right. That's probably not useful at this point. I don't think they're going to be switching, but... I just don't really know what I'm doing with this team at this point. Try a tar shot. Yeah, that slows them down, makes them weaker to fire. Then if I use not incinerate, because it's apparently real bad. If I continue to use my other move. Flame charge, there we go. Yep, there we go. I did the trick. Setup moves are actually very good, I just don't think to use them as often as I should. <laughs> uh, -da -da yeah, I lost. Looks like I'll need more training. Okay, so here we have a cop. Can we kill them? Rumor has that there's a camping king somewhere in the wild area. Have you seen him? He changes the colour of your tent and rates your curry decks. Oh, oh, if you're cold and tired, feel free to stay at my camp. Uh, I don't like you because you're a cop, but if I can fly to your camp, I can, then I can go back to Pokemon Center without losing any uh, progress, which is handy. It's interesting that flying doesn't take you off your bicycle in this game. It's kind of confusing. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Thank you. Thank you, Nurse Joy. 
Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we can just fly back to where we were, because for some reason campsites count as flying destinations. I'm not sure why, but it's helpful. Okay, that's just scary. I don't want to be their friend. Spike moves. What's going on with that? Is it like a big, like a spider thing? It's got so many arms. Ugh. I'm scared. Uh, do you want to fight? Yes. Trainer tips. There are times when you throw a Pokeball to catch your Pokemon and it shakes just once. The more Pokemon you catch, the more likely this curious phenomenon is to occur. So it makes it more likely to be able to catch your target. It's called a critical catch. Oh, so it shakes once and then clicks? Rather than shakes once and then breaks open? Because... When it shakes once and breaks open, that's pretty bad. Okay, I can't go up on this... I can go into this bit. Oh, something sparkly. Max Elixir. Can we use to fully restore the PP if all of the moves have been learned by a Pokémon? That is good. Uh, Outer Spike Myth? Okay. Uh, hello, I've got something here. A scope lens, an item to be held by a Pokémon. It's a lens for scoping out weak points. It boosts the holder's critical hit ratio. That sounds good. Crits are very good. Uh, Route 9, Spike Myth to the right. Is there something sparkle? Three dire hits. Greatly raises the critical hit ratio of Pokémon during a battle. It can only be used once and wears off the Pokémon is withdrawn. Uh, I don't think I've ever used a dire hit, but I imagine I should because they're probably very good. <laughs> uh, there's a cop. Why does Spike Myth have its shutter down? Are they having a party in there? Well, you're not invited because you're a cop. Uh, I assume that, like, Team team Yell were around here before blocking this path. Okay. Just trying to get into Spike Myth. We'll probably have to do some fighting. But we're healed, so it's okay. Right? Fully strong team? Yeah. A lot of loading screens here. <laughs> okay, um, so what's happening here? I can't into Spike Myth, so I've just been hanging around here this whole time. No one can challenge the Dark Trap leader like this. What's with the gate being shut? How am I supposed to get the gym badge now? Hey, Danielle. Oh, hey, Marnie. How you doing? Oh, where'd you go? That's not Marnie. I definitely saw Marnie standing just there where the sparkle is. Oop. Oh, well, we're fighting something. Oh, it's a mer 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 It's that. It's that thing. Um... Is it water? Is it something else? Is it poison? It's got spines. Uh, water's not very effective. Oh, I think it's probably water because it's using the same move I just used. Uh, let's use something a bit weaker. Hopefully we can not defeat it. Ooh, dang it. Liquidation did half its health, so like... Snipe shot, which has less damage, should have done less, but it didn't. Oh, there's Marnie. She went over there. Hang on, let's get the sparkle. Three guard specs. An item that prevents stat reduction among the trainer's party Pokemon for five turns after it is used in battle. Hey, cutie. I was born here, so I know, know another way in. If you want to get into the town, how about I show you the way? But you're my rival, so you'll have to beat me in a battle first. Got it? With pleasure. Oh, I think the way is probably just to go past where you're standing. I had a pretty good win streak in the gym challenge, just like me. I respect you as my rival and all that, but I got too much at stake here to go around losing now. God, she's so cute. I just love her haircut. Check out her hair. It's so good. Lipard. I thought I was rivals with that other guy, um, the pink one? 
I powered up a whole lot. I'm gonna beat you lot into the ground. Got it? If you say so. What's torment? Subjected to torment. What? What does that do? More Pico? No, we can stay where we are. Pro we're probably fine. Unless Torment means something real bad that I don't know about. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep using... Oh, oh, can't use the same move twice in a row due to Torment. Okay, that's what that does. Uh, snapshot? Yeah, that still works. Ba -ba -dum. Heat crash. Yeah, probably. The more these outweighs the target, the greater the moves power. I'm gonna replace Incinerate because it's apparently very bad, and Heat Crash sounds pretty good. <laughs> there we go. Toxicroak. Yeah, we should be fine to stay the way we are. Okay, it's a froggy uh, liquidation. Dry skin. Okay, so you're immune to water type moves, or...? Swagger. What does Swagger do? Increases my attack and confuses me. That's right. That's right. I, I did know that one. I do know some things about this game. Okay, that didn't do very much, but I get to switch to, to another Pokémon now. I think I probably want Charles... I can use something like Wild Charge. Poison Jab. Okay, so are they Water Poison? Or... Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm just regular Poison, not badly Poison, so I might be okay. We'll see how we go. Okay, that looks like it was super effective, maybe? No? Oh, Venoshock? Really? Alright. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, water type moves do nothing. So, uh, Cynthia is probably not the best choice. Uh, let's try fire. Because they don't seem to have, to be super effective. Like, they don't think they're water type, they think they're poison type. And maybe fighting? Let's try Heat Crash. Oh, what? Hyper Potion? Mining has Hyper Potions? Good for her. Heat Crash is pretty good. Okay, Swagger. That boosts my attack and then confuses me. Okay, we're good. Bam. Scrafty. I don't know what that is. It's expected of my rival. You really know how to get me riled up. Sent out Scrafty. Oh, it's that thing. What is it, like grounds type? It's also quite tiny, so I'm just going to step on it. I'm glad I have a move that lets you step on things. <laughs> it's great. Speed harshly fell. Yeah, now I'm confused. Okay. Scary face, scary face. It makes my speed go down. I don't really know why. Oh, hurt myself in my confusion? Yeah. Okay, you have Brick Break. Are you fighting type? What's with that? Pokemon didn't get a chance to really do that thing at all. <sighs> oh, sweetie. 
My partner Morpico has been interested in, you, interested in you and your strengths. I think I get it now. But I've got everyone in Spikeman supporting me. I'm definitely going to get all eight gym badges so I can have a rematch with you. Don't you forget it. I'll get my revenge in the Champion Cup. Anyway, I promised I'd show you a way in, so follow me. Yeah, it's the way directly behind her. That's kind of what I figured. Just, just go in this way? Yeah, easy. Easy. Okay, um, that's probably about it for this video. Spikemouth is a city. Sort, sort of. It's kind of like an alleyway. <sighs> Welcome to the town of Spikemouth. This rockin' town has a punk vibe and streets crammed with shops lined up cheek by jowl. Alright. Uh, let's chuck down a quick save. Looks like Team Yellow hanging out here, which is cool. Quick heal, quick save, and I guess we're done for now. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Next time we'll check out Punk Town. And maybe get some cool punk shit. Do may as well check the lotto ID. Oh. Oh, cool. Movie milk. Looking forward to your next z attempt. Cool. I, I I got some lotto ID powers. So yeah, this town is this uh this is full of Team Yell here. There's one, there's two more. They're just hanging out, throwing safety pins on their backs for some reason. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> okay, um yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time we're gonna check out Spikemouth properly. Bye. <laughs>